it, I think it has. Okay, so let me explain my, what I mean by 2008 is the year that we died. So I thought it was 2010. All right, let me explain. So the Wii came out in November of 2006. Yeah. Uh, at that point, the launch titles were uh, Zelda Twilight Princess, and nobody mm -hmm. gives a shit about anything else that released on that day. But, yeah, they did. I mean, Wii Sports sold a lot of fucking units. Well, it's a pack-in, so it doesn't count. Well, uh, I don't know. It, given it was a guy, so it in and of itself, hi. Okay, well, given credit to Nintendo, I mean, it, I understand motion control was something new, but, I mean, with the Wii, it was a success. And I understand that since Wii Sports came with, you know, like you said, Miles, it was packaged. But given that, it, I mean, seeing how many units the Nintendo Wii has sold, it was really amazing. Because I, I swear, I thought the Wii was going to flop on the first week. Welcome to Slacker Sucks at Sonic the Hedgehog. So it's she okay, never called, but I can't hear her. Or did she immediately leave the call again? No, no, she's here. Liz! Oh, a new person. Yes. That's it. Alright. Conversation's dead. So, <laughs> let's go back to the console wars. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I think it was All something right, so I said. I'm sorry. The Wii's biggest compet the Wii's biggest downfall was really itself. Was really Nintendo itself. Well, it you had shuffleware, bro. Shuffleware. Wait, what, what the hell am I doing? Uh, going around <laughs> the speed of sound. So okay, you got there. 2007 had a great year. You had five. Let's see, you had. Fire Emblem, which wasn't that big at the time, but it was still, but it was still a decent game. You had there was a Fire Emblem yeah. game for the Wii. Yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, it was rated down. It was actually fun. It was it's better than the new ones. I'll say that much. I'm surprised. Yeah, yeah. I also realized too there was one. Uh, you also had Warrior Wear Smooth Moves, which isn't as good as Touch, but it's also, but it's still pretty darn good. It's, yeah, it's what it is. What would you say? Is it a cult following or is it just? Okay. It's. Mm. See, it's too big to be a cult following, but it's too small to be a mainstream thing. Yeah. I understand. Uh, let me think. Uh, later in the year, uh, after 2007, you had Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Yeah, okay, so 2008. Yeah, Red Steel came out 2006, so yeah, yeah. That was one of the more popular titles as well. Oh, wait, Miles, when did uh, Mario Kart Wii... Come out. Was that's it what I was about. To, that was that's that was what I was about to say. In March of tw in March of 2008, you had Super Smash Brothers, and then like later that month, you had Mario Kart Wii, and that's pretty much where the system died. Because the rest of the year, because that was Nintendo's worst E3 that year. 2009. 2008. Oh, eight? Really? Yeah. Uh, I have to watch that's it again. What made the, yeah, that that was one of the many factors that had the Wii. Um, you know how the Wii U had a shit, uh, shit ton of shitty third-party publishers? Yeah. The Actually, Wii they Wii barely Wii had any. Huh? They barely had any. Okay, here's the thing. The reason why the Wii had so much shovelware was because the system itself sold so well. The Wii U didn't even oh, have that, okay. so the result was that it had zero games. I'm well, sorry, I was, I got confused with the Wii and Wii U. Oh, 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 oh! Good job. Good job, fucking idiot. Anyways, the, uh... The the shuffleware, no, yeah. the, the the well the lack of third party third party games in general, I I think is partially Nintendo's fault. Them going, holy shit, having that much shovelware on our system did bad for reputations and stuff. It so really like, choked. Get rid of it, huh? It, it, it yeah, really no, choked. Yeah, yeah, it, it choked yeah. up the console like, for sure. But here's that, here, hear me on this though. I think what also killed the console is that they were putting so much attention on the yes. Yeah, because the 3DS was just more successful. If it wasn't for the fact that it was just straight up making more money than the Wii U. I know. I I was really disappointed because when they announced it, I was going ballistic. Like, why the fuck didn't they not make a console version of Luigi's Mansion 2? 
I know! It blew my mind! It's like, yeah. you have the... You have the craving for it! And you not only that, the... For it. You couldn't have made a fucking console seller! Yes. I, I understand that they made Ocarina of Time remake for the GameCube, and right. they did the same for 3DS. No, so that I mean, it would have been as much as the original. Yeah, not bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, given the credit that it was really spectacular for seeing the visuals on the 3DS, I, I mean, it could have kept the Wii alive for a little bit with the. Uh, Dude, there was rumors but... that there was going to be. Like, there was a Majora's Mask remake trailer that blew people's minds. Oh my god, that, that superb trailer and then blew me out of the water. And then everyone found out it was fake, and everyone fake. realized, oh right, it's Nintendo, they don't do smart things. Yeah. I I was very disappointed, too. It almost seemed like it could have been a movie. No, oh, yeah. And then the Switch came out, and then they fixed fucking everything. Like, without exaggeration, they fixed everything. I I give credit to the Amy, new CEO. Man, like, almost, he, almost everything. Almost. almost. But here's the thing. I mean, it, it's really amazing how when they released the games, it came exactly on the day. Right. No, it had an amazing launch launch lineup, and like even, uh, like. Two years after its initial release, yep. it's still pumping out great games. Fucking the new Kirby, uh, the demo drops uh, either today or yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I played it. Yeah, the new fantastic. Kirby, Kirby <laughs> Star Allies is actually pretty friggin' great. I've heard about that, and I, I think it's amazing that they are. Uh, I'm actually, you know what? I'm, I'm fucking ecstatic that they brought back that mechanic that lets you mix powers together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cause that was one of my yeah, favorite things about Kirby 64. Yeah, I was about to say, that's not a new concept, but that was something that was sorely lacking in older games. Or in, yeah, in some of the older games. You better give Amy to me or I'll squash ya. Um... Still, Kirby Canvas Curse, that one, that game was so unique to me. I will... that... For me, it's not necessarily my favorite game or even necessarily a good game, but it was just... It was fun and unique and different. Hey, and I will never see anything like it again. Hey, Liz, you finally get a mic? Stop. Aliens have abducted my not girlfriend! <laughs> and robot. See, on one hand, you could just walk away from this Sonic. On the other hand. No, there's no other hand, just walk away. You know, Sonic could at least sit down and say, huh? No, I've had better days. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like, you know, I was all alone on my first game, and then this yellow freak came by, and <laughs> red, No, and then this weird fanboy came around, came and was in. like, hey, yeah. hey, hey, man, can I be a sidekick? And he's like, oh, well, what's the worst that can happen? And then I found out that he's fucking immortal. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, die. That's something we'll find out in this game. Tail never dies because it can float. Yep. <laughs> oh, you never go over. It. <sighs> because like you basically, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but you basically play some of the stages that this Sonic plays, like verbatim, except you can float. Enemy. Yeah, yep. this, and you, you race Sonic. Attack. Yeah. Uh, but my favorite thing <laughs> is that in this game, Sonic. Is that, despite how sassy Sonic is, he's a good sport about if only that monkey uh, racing tails. Like, when you catch up to Sonic, he's like, you made it! Oh, yeah. No, it's like, it's weird. They, they've they been trying to figure out the formula for months, or for years. Since, basically since Sonic started talking about how to make him sassy without making him an asshole. <laughs> 